हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पी के इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग तो दोस्तों आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे ओ के बेसिक्स ओ एच ई मीन्स आप ओ एच ई मीन्स क्या होता है ओवरहेड इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन या फिर ओवरहेड इक्विपमेंट ओवरहेड इक्विपमेंट दोस्तों इसमें क्या क्या होता है फर्स्ट देखते हैं कैटनरी वायर कैटनरी वायर जो कि कॉपर कॉपर कैडमियम का होता है इसमें 19 स्ट्रेंड्स होते हैं कॉपर कैडमियम 19 और uh, 19 स्ट्रेंड्स 65 स्क्वायर एम एम कॉन्टेक्ट वायर हार्ड ड्रोन कॉपर सॉलिड राउंड 107 107 स्क्वायर एम एम ड्रॉपर ड्रॉपर वायर इज बैट कैटनरी एंड कॉन्टेक्ट वायर कैटनरी एंड कॉन्टेक्ट वायर को क्या बांध के रखता है ये इसका साइज क्या होता है 5 एम एम हार्ड ड्रॉन कॉपर 5 एम एम हार्ड ड्रॉन कॉपर एंड सपोर्टेड बाय ओ एच ई कैंटलीवर्स फीडिंग पोस्ट मींस अ सप्लाई कंट्रोल अ सप्लाई कंट्रोल पोस्ट वेयर द इनकमिंग फीडर लाइंस फ्रॉम ग्रिड सब स्टेशंस आर टर्मिनेटेड न्यूट्रल सेक्शन means a short section of insulated and dead overhead equipment which separated the areas fed by adjacent substations or feeding post power block means blocking of a section of line to electric traffic only supply control means a assembly of interrupters isolator switch remote control equipment and other parts provided for controlling power supply to overhead equipment it includes feeding post sectioning paralleling post and subsectioning post tower wagon means a self means a self propelled vehicle which is used for maintenance and repairs of overhead equipment bond what is bond an electrical connection an electrical connection across a joint in or between adjacent length of rail first bond continuity a rail bond used for maintaining continuity of the rail circuit at crossing and junctions bond cross a rail bond used for connecting together two rails of a track or rails of adjacent track bond impedance a spacer rail bond used to bridge an insulated rail joint in a track circuited section in areas equipment for electric traction bond rail an electrical connection across a joint between two adjacent length of rail as part of track return bond structure and an electrical connection between the steel bark of track structures bridge or station building to which the traction overhead equipment is attached cantilever assembly it is an insulated swelling type structure member comprising of different size of steel tubes to support and to keep overhead catenary system in position so as to facilitate current collection by the pantograph at all speed without infringing the structural members it consists of the following structural members first str it comprises of dia 28.4 2 by 28.4 by 
mm small the uh, small size tube and an register at the end to keep the bracket tube position it is insulated from must by a stay arm insulator bracket tube it comprises of dia 40 by 49 mm large or dia 30 by 38 standard bracket tube and insulated by bracket insulator catenary supported from this member by catenary suspension bracket and catenary suspension clamp crossing the electrically live member or conductor passing over another electrically live member or conductor without physical contact power line crossing first power line closed crossing an electrical overhead transmission or distribution line or underground cable placed across railway tracks whether electrified or not trans not for transmission of electrical energy cross crossing OHE crossing of two conductors of OHE crossing without physical contact electrical clearance the distance in air between live equipment and the nearest earth part encumbrance the axial distance on vertical plane between the catenary and the contact wire at support feeder a conductor connecting a substation with a feeding post or a feeding post with a OHG, with the OHG. Height of contact wire. The distance from rail level to the underside of contact wire. Interrupter. It is a single phase vacuum breaker used as load switch to close the circuit on fault but does not open on fault it is operated either by remote control or manually at site different met methods of connection of interrupters are bridging interrupters an interrupter which is provide the neutral section to extend the feed from one substation to to the overhead equipment normally fed by the other substation in emergencies or when the large when the latter when the latter is out out of use this normally remains in the open position using interrupter sectioning interrupter and interrupter which connects adjacent substation at adjacent subsector together the, to maintain continuity of supply this normally remains in closed position paralleling interrupter and interrupter which connect overhead equipments of two different track this normally remains in closed position to reduce the voltage drop must very important a single vertical post embedded in the foundation or otherwise rigidly fixed in vertical position to support the overhead equipment with cantilever assembly it may be rolled section of it may be rolled section or fabricated the uprights of portals and ttcs are also called must note three stress concrete spoon poles for traction overhead equipment are under development jumper a conductor or an arrangement of conductor for electrical continuity not under tension 
which forms electrical connection between two conductors or equipments. Return conductor. A conductor which carries return current from the track to the substation in the booster transformer system. Regulating equipment. A device for maintaining the tension of OHE conductors constant under all ambient temperature conditions. Such OHE called regulated OHE. Suspension distance. The horizontal distance from the center of the eye of catenary suspension bracket to the dis to the face of the must for a single cantilever assembly or the face of cross arm channel in case of multiple cantilever assembly span the distance between the center line of the adjacent supporting must for overhead equipment lines clear span span clear span in case of portal structure is the distance between the inner face of portal uprights. Stagger Stagger of the contact wire is the horizontal distance of the contact wire with the vertical plane through the center of track. Section insulator a device installed in the contact wire for insulating two elementary electrical section from each other while providing a continuous path for the pentograph without break of current is called section insulator supply control post it is general term which refers to an outdoor assembly of control gear such as interrupters, isolator, potential transformer, auxiliary transformer, etc., including remote control equipment installed in a cubicle for controlling power supply to overhead equipment. Feeding post It is a supply post where the incoming 25 kV line feeder 25 kV feeder lines from substation are terminated and connected to the overhead equipment through interrupters sectioning and sectioning and paralleling post paralleling post it is the supply control post situated midway between two feeding posts at the neutral section and provided with bridging and paralleling interrupters subsectioning and paralleling post it is a supply control post where sectioning and paralleling interrupters are provided. Subsectioning post for single line section. It is a supply control post where a sectioning interrupter is provided. Sector A section of overhead equipment of a track which can be energized by closing a feeder circuit breaker at the substation. Subsector <coughs> Sorry. Subsector The smallest collect section, the smallest section of overhead equipment which can be isolated remotely by opening of interrupters. Elementary section. The smallest section of overhead equipment which can be isolated from the rest of the system by manual operation. Tension length. Length of conductor which is stretched between the two anchor points. Versine. The versine is the maximum offset of the rail on which span have been measured of the curved track from the cord connecting two points, each opposite at scent must. Electrical clearance. 
clearance the clearance between 25 kb live parts and earth parts of fixed structure or moving load load shall be as large as possible the electrical clearance to be maintained under the roast condition of temperature wind etc are given below a Mo maximum vertical distance between any live part of sorry maximum vertical distance between any live part of overhead equipment or pantographs and parts of any fixed structure or moving loads long duration 320 mm short duration 270 mm minimum lateral distance between any live part or overhead equipment for pantographs and parts of any fixed structure or moving loads long duration 320 mm and short duration 20 220 mm तो दोस्तों ये थे ओएचई के बेसिक्स आई होप आपको वीडियो पसंद आया होगा नेक्स्ट वीडियो हम देखेंगे ओएचई डिजाइन एंड ड्राइंग और आगे ओएचई फाउंडेशन तो दोस्तों आपको वीडियो यदि पसंद आया तो लाइक करिए शेयर करिए और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं तो सब्सक्राइब जरूर करिए थैंक यू